Beep beep, what is up ninjas? My name is Samworld and recently today um, I commented on a post that one of you guys asked on how to make a certain sound in this a group that wasn't the evolution of sound group <laughs> but this is all about pride right now. Um, mainly I just left my suggestions on how I would make a similar sound and, and my suggestion was using FM synthesis with two sine waves doing different pitch intervals to get a very similar vibe that the guy uh, Vato Gonzalez had he's not Mexican by the way so it's kind of like yeah but he had in the track Anyways, the guy's part of the group, I guess he's a mod there, so he goes on to comment on my post saying, not even close, baby. Um, mainly, I found it a little bit rude because if he knows anything about sound design, he should know that those type of sounds can be achieved using FM synthesis. When you have sounds, guys, if you hear a sound, usually there's more, one, more than one way to reach that sound, and it's up to you to find out how to do it. Um, you know, if someone says, this is how you make that sound, like, I could see that happening, okay? But I found it a little bit rude that he was like, not even close, baby. It reminded me of Dunky in a little bit of way. So, we're going to be looking at his explanation first. Um, you know, he's gonna be talking about it here as you can see in Massive He's using a preset from RAD Pals Garage Which is a very simple patch for sure using a sine wave using a square wave as a top layer Which doesn't really matter that much and then using the frequency shifter. So I'll let, you, I'll let him explain it It's actually out of two oscillators um, We've got three that does very little except giving me some high dirt now the main base layer is actually rather rather really simple it's um it's just a sine square wave, so that means if the knob is all the way here, it's a sine all the way there, it's a square. And where it is right now is just uh, giving me all the base of a sine wave, but a little bit of the dirt of the square wave. The big trick is in the insert one frequency shifter. Once I turn that off, hey, that's just your regular old boring bass line. Whoop de whoop. So actually the whole trickery is in, in this thing here. All right, guys. So in this video, I just want to prove to you guys that you guys can achieve similar sounds using different synthesizers whenever you hear one sound there's various different ways to reach it if you want to use FM to create a square wave by all means if you want to use FM to create a square wave by all means if you want to use distortion now the way wavetables work guys especially in massive as Vato Gonzalez was talking about that wavetail position up is that let's say we have a sign and I decided to turn into a square well all I have to do is distort it and then I have a square wave now in that you know recording I can then Upload it into the synthesizer and my wave tail position knob. You want to see it as a, as a position knob. So where in that change of the sine wave to a square do I want to be at? So as I'm applying distortion, let's say I'm halfway, that's going to be 50% and all the way is 100. So I want the square wave in its entirety. I want it halfway, a little bit of sine and a bit of square. That's how wave tables are created. We wouldn't have any of these wave tables you see here. Spectral, vowel, digital without phaser effects, without distortion effects and all that and without FM and AM. Now going into making a very similar sounds, we're going to do it in Serum and we're going to be doing it in Silent 1 just to make a point. So easily what we're going to be doing here first is what I suggested to that guy. We're going to use FM, which you can see the moment we add that, it doesn't sound like a sine wave no more. And we start to get those garage vibes that everyone's always asking how to make those sounds. FM is the key or just use a spectral or a wavetable that has that FM in it. Okay, so from there, we can now use different pitch ratios. What that means is if we're at zero octave, zero octave here, this is the one influencing this one, then we're at one to one. Then one to two, one to three, one to four, one to five. Each one gives you a different vibe, but just know the higher you go, the more body your sound is going to lose. So if you're making a bass, try and be a little bit careful or layer it with another lower sound bass. Or lo sorry, a lower bass. So we're going to go at plus two with plus seven semitones here to get... Let's put mono legato on that. So we're starting to get a very similar sound, FM. We're going to have it at there. Now, the frequency shifter that Vato Gonzalez uses in the video, what it does is it generally grabs the sound and it just pitches it up using, you know, just a technique. Now, the thing here is that he sets it at 50%, so he's still maintaining that original sound that he had, aka the boomy bass. But then when he does, he applies this plus 7 um plus seven vibe that he gives the sound so that's where that comes from where he goes oi oi um so that's where that comes from now from there we can use a, a filter with a high resonance to get a very whiny sound out of it let's put a drive up let's get rid of that distortion we have So as you can see, we can make a very similar sound. And the cool thing about this, guys, for you guys to understand is that when you have a sound, there's various different ways to reach it. From here, the cool thing now is that you can easily go, man, this is too pussy for me. I, I need something harder. Well, then go with a, a square instead. 
or a saw and then increase and now you have a different vibe let's say you like that put an envelope there and then just have fun with that for instance and then distort the shit out of it if you want to get a very nice you know you know You know, you can make very cool sounds at knowing what you're doing, okay? Um, I know Vato uses a preset there. I'm sure he knows what he's doing, though. But now, to prove my point even more, we can go in a silent one and create a very, very similar sounding sound as well. All right, guys, now we're going to go into silent one to do this. So easily, we know a sine wave here, guys. And the thing, understand that wavetables are just that, things that change over time. Let's say I want that sine wave to be a subby square, then overdrive the shit out of it. I can record this change. And you can say this is my wavetail position knob and I get to decide where in that change do I want my, my sine wave to be. From there, you know, we can start going into sound. Let's use it. We'll put another sine wave up two octaves. Plus seven. Mono legato that. As you can see there, and then we can use a filter there. Maybe a band pass to have the high frequencies of this guy. And then we can go to part B, solo that, so we can just hear that. Put our low bass, low pass to where we want it. Maybe just the low part of it. And now Let's lower mix B a bit. EQ it. Maybe try a different type of distortion. And then we can add maybe like a little cutoff change there. And, you know, we can create very similar sounds. It's not the best, obviously, but it's there. You know, and that's the key thing here, guys, that I want you to take away. You know, we have different types of synthesizers. Not everyone's going to have all of them or torrent all of them or buy all of them. But use what you have and make the best out of it. If you hear a sound, you can get fairly close using different synthesizers. And that's my point with this video. The title is just a little clickbait title, so I hope Vato doesn't get mad about it. <laughs> it was just a little bit like, no, people are going to click on it because they're going to see that. But I hope that you guys have fun. I hope that this proves my point that you can use different synthesizers, different methods to reach a similar sound. The right way is the way he did it, obviously, because that's his way. But again, if I had to answer the question again, I would answer it the same way. And that's using different pitch intervals to achieve that same similar vibe that he has in his track, which is a great track, a very simple track, but a track that works in the club, has a 500,000 plays for a reason. With that being said, guys, you guys take care. You guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time, Ninjas. You guys take care and peace out.